Hey everybody, I just want to show you how you can take your third person characters in Unreal Engine and add modular armor parts or accessories or clothing or things like that. And for this I'm going to use our modular skeleton character from Render Crate. But if you're a pro member and you don't want to do this yourself, I've already set this up in Unreal Engine. You can go up to Render Crate right now and download an Unreal Engine scene where everything I'm about to show you is already done and set up for you. So I'm actually continuing on from previous videos. So if you don't already have a character set up in Unreal Engine, go back and watch the superhero video where I showed you how to set up a character from scratch. From there, we talked about how to add weapons and attack animations. So if you need that, go ahead and watch that video too. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add multiple modular armor parts to this character. So I've got this character set up, but there's a couple of really important things you need to check first before this technique will work. The first is to go into the skeletal mesh asset Go into the Asset Details panel, and where it says Skeleton, take note of which skeleton your character is using. Whether it's a custom skeleton or the default Unreal Engine skeleton like the one I'm using right now, your modular props and assets and armor parts have to be rigged to the exact same skeleton. And the way that I made sure that the character was rigged to the same skeleton is I just rigged all of his parts all at the same time. So once again, this is our modular Skeleton Warriors pack, which is up on Render Crate and on the Unreal Engine store. And notice that I have every single armor option just sort of piled on top of each other in the correct position, and they're all rigged to the joints properly. So what you want to do next is export each armor part as its own individual rigged FBX. And that looks like this. Notice I have skeletal mesh breastplate one through three, and that's each of these breastplates, which are rigged to the skeleton. And I've got the fantasy helmet. I've got all the arm options as separate FBXs. So this is what you want to do. Once your base character is set up in Unreal Engine, we can just select all the parts, but not the skeleton. He's already in there and just drag and drop this into the scene. I'm going to import the skeletal mesh and probably the most important step here under skeleton, we need to tell it which skeleton to associate it with. If you're using a custom skeleton, you would choose that from the list, but this guy is set up with the default SK mannequin skeleton, so I'll click on that. So I'm going to press import all. And if you get this error, just press no. Unfortunately, even if you press apply to all, you have to click no for each one. Which can be kind of annoying. Now, I just realized that I accidentally created a physics asset for each one. That was probably an import option. I'm gonna go ahead and search for physics assets and I'm gonna delete all of them except for the one for my character's body. We don't need a physics asset for all these parts. So I'm just gonna press force delete and we're good. Okay, let's get these attached to our character. Let's go to the third person folder under blueprints, under the third person character blueprint. And in the viewport, you'll notice that we have our character set up so over here, I'm going to click add and I'm going to search for a skeletal mesh. And you want to create a skeletal mesh for each part of the body that's going to have a type of armor on it. So I don't need a new skeletal mesh for every helmet. I just need one for the head so I can attach any helmet to the head. So I'm going to create a skeletal mesh and call this head. And let's drag and drop this underneath the mesh of the character. I'm going to duplicate head and I'll call this one torso because he's got torso armor. Let's duplicate again, and I'll call this left arm. Duplicate again, I'll call this right arm. For my next one, he doesn't have independent sockets for each leg. It's just one mesh for both the legs together, so I'll just call this one legs. And then he's got a socket for the waist, for his belt. Very cool. So now I can click on my head skeletal mesh, and I can come over here to where it says skeletal mesh asset, and I can grab a helmet. So let's add open helmet two. Notice that it probably isn't gonna pop up on top of your character's head. And that's just because Unreal Engine, for some reason, adds these weird transform values to it. So just click these little arrows and it will go back to the default pose. So now notice that it's not moving with the character yet. Don't worry about that yet, we'll fix it. But let's finish adding some skeletal meshes first. So for the torso, I think this piece looks pretty cool. For the left arm, I'll search for a good piece. Left arm one, sounds good to me. Once again, the transforms are always in a weird place, so just click these little arrows to set it back to default. And I'll do the same for the rest of the skeletal meshes. Okay, so the armor parts are in the correct place, but they're not moving. They're not in the right pose, and they're not animated. So let's go to the construction script, and I'm going to click on the execution pin and drag it out, and I'll search for 
set leader pose for the mesh. Okay, we don't want the target of the leader pose to be the mesh. We want that to be the leader bone component. So I'll set that to here and then I'll alt click to disconnect it from target. And the target is actually going to be all of our body parts. So I'll just drag those out and I'll connect this into target. We're basically telling our armor parts to follow what the main body is doing because it's rigged to the same skeleton so it can figure it out. Okay, let's press compile and save. And now we can see that the character's armor are in the starting pose. If I press play, it follows his body and it's animated. Now what's really cool about this and what makes it modular is because I imported multiple parts that all follow the same skeleton, right here in the scene, I can swap them out really quickly. So if I click on my character, I can see all of my skeletal meshes are available here in the details panel. I can click on the head and I can scroll down to my skeletal mesh asset and I can choose a different helmet right in the game window. So let's do the knight helmet. And for his torso, maybe we'll add a breastplate. And now my character has a completely different outfit and I can make a whole army of different skeleton warriors. But we're not gonna cover it in this video, but if you're making a game, you could set up different gameplay triggers which cause your character to change outfits. Like maybe you buy a jacket in your Cyberpunk 2077 style game and you can apply the jacket and it'll swap out the model. Now once again, if you don't feel like setting this up, I've actually done it for you and it's all up on RenderCrate. So this character is up on RenderCrate, he's already modular, he's already set up, all his materials are looking great. If you're a pro member, you can download it now and just start using it right away. But free members can still get this character from the Unreal Marketplace. If you make anything cool with this character or using this technique on a different character, be sure to tag us on Instagram with it or share it on the Discord, we definitely want to see it. And leave a comment if you want to learn anything else about third-person characters in Unreal Engine, whether it's for games or VFX. Alright, later creators.